Today I'm going to show you how to see the Twin Towers on Google Earth. So without further ado, let's dive into it. So in order to see the location of the Twin Towers, we're going to go over to earth.google.com. You will find yourself on this page. You can go over to the left hand side. There will be a search bar. You're going to click in here and you're going to type it in. You can see here it is already in my recent searches. So I'm just going to tap on this. And what will happen now is it'll give you a list of things that are related to your search query. Of course, what we're looking for is the Twin Towers. It is now a memorial ground. We can click on this and it'll take us directly there. You can see we are currently in a 2D view. You can indicate this by seeing at the bottom right, it says 3D, which means when you click on it, your view will become 3D. So let's just close this window, which you'll be able to save as a project and get a couple more bits of pieces of information on. But if you close it, we have this full view. And there are a few things that we can do. You can see this is the actual location. You can tilt down onto 3D. You can also use the interactive street view. You can now see that there's blue area and anywhere you click on the blue area, you will be put down on that space. So this is now the street view of the Twin Towers. This is the area of the Twin Towers. And there are a few other things that we can do. Let's exit street view by clicking on the X. We're going to go now to the very top. We have a few options here and there is a little arrow, a circular arrow. This activates the historical imagery. Now, once you click on here, you have a dial right up at the top. This allows you to choose a time that you would like to view what your current location is on. So you can see over here, I have gone and selected 2001, the ninth month and the 12th you can see um, that this is the image. You cannot do 3D image. Um, the 3D image is disabled, so you're going to have to just click here and you'll see it in 2D. Let's zoom out. This is the view or the image that you will get if you are choosing this specific date. Now, their dates are not day by day sequential, so if you go and choose one day previous to that, you'll actually find that it's in 1997 and within a few seconds this image will update you can see now that it's updating and then if you go forward from the 12th it'll jump all the way to the 31st of the 12th month you can see now within a few seconds that the image will actually change this is what it looks like on this specific date 